Welcome back to BeYoungMinistry.com to another blog and to another podcast. Today we continue in our study of the book of Romans. We're in chapter 12, verse 2, which reads, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. That's Romans chapter 12, verse 2. Today we continue in our study of the book of Romans. In our previous two studies, we transitioned into the final section of this book, which reveals the ultimate goal of God for us as believers in the Lord Jesus Christ. Servanthood, which is the opposite of the self-life, is God's goal for us. Deciding to be a servant does not come natural for any of us. In fact, it is the byproduct of the workings of God's grace and mercy in our lives. This is why it takes so long for us to see the value of being a servant. While most believe this life is about what we get, the life the Lord Jesus died to give us is about what we give. The first command in today's verse is do not conform to the pattern of this world. The word conform refers to an outward expression of behavior that does not reflect what is inside of a person. The word actually implies the idea of masquerading, people wearing masks when they're trying to present an image of something they are not. So Paul is saying, as believers in Christ, when we conform ourselves to the pattern of this world, we're wearing a mask that is inconsistent with our identity. This verb is written in the middle voice, and it is best translated, you yourselves do not conform to the pattern of this world. The way this command is written makes it obvious that we do the action, not God. When we conform to this world's ways, we act as fish out of water. And the pattern of this world is the way of the self. The second command found in today's verse is written in the passive voice, meaning that someone outside of us is responsible for the outcome. So the command, be transformed by the renewal of your mind, is best translated, be transformed by God by the renewal of your mind. Only God can transform us into people who are increasingly defined by him. We cannot transform ourselves, but we can renew our minds with his word. And when we do so, God will transform us. The role that we play is to be in the word of God daily as often as we can. Then we must mull over whatever he is showing us in a given day, asking the Holy Spirit to sensitize us to the leading of his will in our lives. The life that is saturated by the grace and mercy of God will produce a mind that will be saturated by the word of God. The word mind could also be translated worldview or God's way of thinking and living. With our minds, we decide what to do with our bodies or our whole existence. The mind molded by the mercies of God and the word of God results in a life that brings glory to God. When we offer ourselves to God, we make ourselves available to him so that we can respond to his will. The word translated perfect is getting at the fulfillment of purpose. We fulfill God's purpose for us when we respond to his will affirmatively. And might I add that we will find ourselves fulfilled when we walk in his culture. God's goal for the believer in Christ is that we get to the place where we are realizing his purposes in and through our lives. When we have been arrested by the mercies of God, 
when we are cognizant of the fact that he has rescued us from the very fires of hell, we will be motivated to do God's will out of gratitude. The way of the enemy is always forced upon us. In fact, he knows no other way but forced entry. The way of the Lord is the way of gentle persuasion. He does not force himself onto anyone. This is the way love behaves. In the remainder of the book of Romans, it is revealed to us what God's will looks like in our lives in a given day. And at the center of his will, we will see that we are transformed for the sake of others and for the advancement of God's culture in their lives. This is God's calling for all of us as believers in Christ. A transformed mind yields a transformed will. This process of transformation eventually produces in us what God wants. When we present our bodies, when our minds are being renewed, we will naturally operate according to the culture of God. The ability to test and approve the will of God is at the believer's disposal at this point. What a privilege to be able to measure something so big and so important. Of course, this is what the Word of God does for us, and this is why we must be in His Word daily. Better yet, we will be able to do this when His Word gets into us. In Psalm 37, we read, Delight yourself in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. That means when we delight ourselves in the Lord, He will actually plant within us the desire for His will. And we all know that nothing happens in this world apart from God's will, which frightens the godless, <laughs> but it stabilizes the one who is walking in God's will. My friends, I trust this blog and this podcast are helping you in your walk with the Lord. If I can be of further assistance to you, shoot me an email at beyoungministry at gmail.com. Hey, have a great day.